In the wake of the New Year festivities, soccer has come the way of the less privileged children, old women and indeed others residing in the slum community of Ikota in Lagos State. They are beaming with joy as they were treated to a party and gifted with food items and other materials to help alleviate their plights. All thanks to the outreach put together by the She Advancement Initiative tagged Put a Smile. Details in this report. <laughs> This is a typical slum community in the Igota area of Lagos State. On a regular day, getting food to eat or eke out a livelihood is a challenge to most of the residents. Today, they have a reason to celebrate and dance like other people. The convener of the She Advancement Initiative, Nikio Motosho, shares on how this yearly project came to be. Driving through here, and I see lots of children walking at odd hour of the day. You see some of them, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, and I spoke to one. Money bolo bolo you know, at 10 o'clock, I'm over here, I'm over eight years. I was like, where do you live? And she brought me here, and I saw this location. I was like, oh my goodness. There is real poverty here. Children play gaily with balloons, participate in games as it was time to dance and celebrate, all in the spirit of the season. If I touch you, just go back and sit down. Go and sit down. Indeed, there are lots of freebies for all present. <laughs> We catch up with some of the beneficiaries who cannot hide their excitement as they pour out encomiums on the organizers as well as prayers. The only thing I know well, if I will, I for dancing. I for go ball, but no way. I am, 20, I am 75 years. So the thing we would have done today, feed all the quarter, God will bless on. I'm very grateful for this sister to come and uh, give us food today. We thank God for New Year food. God will bless them. We will give them long life. And will multiply their work. In Jesus' name. Thank you very much. I'm appreciated. Thank you so much. God bless. Nikki Omoto Show has a word of advice for Nigerians and indeed the government. She charges them to remember the poor not only when they celebrate, but indeed every other day. Omoto Show speaks alongside others. We started this because uh, I was sitting down in the comfort of my house one day and the year was coming to an end and I was doing lots of shopping for my children, buying lots of things and then something just flew to my head. The child on the street out there, the mom might not have a grain of rice to cook for that child today and that was how the vision started like okay, the year is ending, how are the children ending the year? Um, to the government, we know you're already doing a lot, you're already doing much in improving our country. This particular um, community where I am in, Ikota community, is, it, it's, in a, it's in a bad shape. So I encourage and beg the government to please do something. The standard of living here is very poor. Individual cannot do it alone. We need, we would like to take this big, we like to expand and go, you know, reaching out to people, not just this, um, what's it called, Ikota community. I would love to do more and more as well, to go to other places, to also invite children, give this smile, give them the best they can never get from their parents. I was like, this is what I love doing. So as the year 2024 comes with great expectations and hope, Nigerians are reminded to be their brother's keepers. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.